is Heidi Moore reporting for the Alliance Conflict News, November 21st, 2160. Colonel Pierre Besson, a high-ranking French intelligence officer, was arrested today on charges of espionage. Reports indicate that his wife supplied information leading to his arrest. Colonel Besson had top security clearance. There is no report yet on what information he allegedly passed on to the coalition or how long he has been doing so. We will keep you apprised of this story as more information becomes available. Pirate activity is once again on the rise, with reports of another Alliance military convoy coming under attack. Sources within the military have indicated that this is becoming a major problem. Not only are supplies threatened, but additional military escorts must be diverted to protect every major convoy route. Military intelligence has not yet located the pirates' base of operations. With the war escalating, it may be some time before these rogue units are brought to justice. This is Heidi Moore for the Alliance Conflict News, signing off until next time. Okay, settle down and listen up. Intelligence have received reports that the Coalition have almost finished the construction of a new supercarrier, the Tsar, which looking at its stats will outclass any ship in the Alliance fleet. To make matters worse, we've also been informed that the Coalition now have a new advanced warp gate system online. If used in conjunction with the Tsar, the consequences for the Alliance could be dire. Using captured Coalition data, our tech division has produced a prototype warp projector capable of creating a temporary wormhole big enough for a single fighter to slip through, ideal for covert ops. The warp projector requires 15 seconds to charge before firing. They're still a little unstable, so use them only as directed. Upon reaching the shipyard facility, your first objective will be to punch a hole through the orbiting satellite defense turrets. Next objective will be to engage any coalition fighters in the vicinity. With the fighter defense neutralized, move on to the facility's defense turrets. Once the fighters and defense turrets are out of the way, Gamma Wing will torp the Tsar's main hull, while the target designation ship locates the carrier's twin power cores. With the power core pinpointed, launch your jackhammer missiles and evacuate the area. As you've probably assumed by now, this mission is of vital importance. So fortunately, you won't be going in alone. Coming along for the ride will be a contingent from the vampires. Due to his experience, Squadron Leader Klaus Steiner will be in overall command of the mission. So whatever he says, goes. Everyone clear? Good luck, pilots. This is Control. Prepare to launch. Enriquez, what's the ETA on the vampires? We just received word that they've been held up. We can't afford to wait for them. We have to strike now. Copy that, Commander. This is Gamma 1. We're going to hold here until you get a fix on the primary shields. Copy, Gamma Leader. Okay, 45th. Get ready to warp out. Warp projector online. Let's move out. Whoa! 
all the way to Saturn in one jump! I got a visual on the Tsar. Move in and deal with those satellites. Alpha 5, get a fix on the Tsar's primary shields. Heads up! We've got incoming fighters and Kurgans! They'll have to wait. We need to hit the sad turrets.
Boarding ship covered, 45th. Permission to land. Hey, Hotshot, good to have you back. You're clear all the way in. Men 
and women of the Alliance, welcome. It seems congratulations are in order. With the exception of a few minor setbacks, Operation Shield has been a major success. Over 45% of the Alliance fleet reached the safety of Triton. No small feat considering the setback suffered at the outbreak of the conflict. Since then, we've taken the fight to the enemy. Although the Coalition has us outnumbered and outgunned, Alliance forces have utilized hit-and-run tactics. With losses mounting and communication and supply lines under constant attack, the Coalition fleet has been forced to withdraw back to Titan. On a final note, congratulations to the 45th Volunteers, now nicknamed the Flying Tigers after the famous World War II fighter squadron. This newly formed squadron seems hell-bent on winning the war all by themselves. Their kill-per-pilot ratio is second only to the vampires. Keep up the good work, men and women of the Alliance. Reports have confirmed that the Vampires, assisted by the Tigers, located and destroyed the CS Tsar, a Coalition Class I supercarrier. Just three weeks from completion, the Tsar was to be the new flagship of the Coalition Forward Fleet. It looks like they'll need a replacement. Reports have confirmed that the CS Krasnaya, a Class II carrier, was destroyed in a joint operation by the Vampires flying out of the ANS Bremen. Again, the Tigers were on hand to support the Vampires. These two combat squadrons sure seem to be hitting it off in style. Great work, guys. At ease. I'm delighted to see you here, pilot. Your recent actions have been brought to my attention by Commander Enriquez. I am pleased to inform you that Command has seen fit to present you with this award in recognition of your achievements. For valor in the line of fire, I present you with the Black Eagle. Congratulations, pilot.